Today, everybody is incredibly busy at the Chateau because we are organising our first ever event, a concert and open doors to raise funds for the beautiful listed 12th century village church in front of us, which is in need of urgent restoration. So Charlie found these barrels in the old barn and she thought it would be nice to make them as like little tables for tonight. We are using these old Calvados barrels. Actually, they're whiskey barrels from Scotland, but they imported them, old whiskey barrels, to give flavor to the local Calvados. And, and then they use these beautiful bottles, and they are equally old bottles that we found. I hope nobody realizes how valuable they are and steals one. Look how pretty they are. Ooh. I hate these. Anna bought them a long time ago, and I find them profoundly ugly, but Anna managed to keep them for some reason, and she puts them out. I'm not allowed to say anything otherwise. I'm in trouble. Speaking of the devil, I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> I know, I've got butterflies. Because you love me so much. No, because we're doing our first ever event. Oh, okay. And I'm really excited. I think it's going to be, a, fingers crossed, a really good evening. What are you doing? I'm changing the outside lights, light bulbs. Some of them are broken. They lived here for two years and now they are gone. And look at this. It looks amazing, but I think it would be a better effect if it was dark. Yeah, but you see, my phone controls those lights. That's great. No, it's really good. So you don't look impressed. <laughs> well, because I know it already. We are high-tech shutter. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think this shutter has ever heard such beautiful music. It's touching. This is Baroque music in a Baroque chateau. Can't get any better. The composer, he was completely crazy. Like, uh, it's uh, Louis Gabriel Guillemin, and he used to work in Versailles and in Paris, so he had to travel always from the two, and he had a very extravagant lifestyle. He loved like carpets and uh, uh, expensive wallpapers. He was uh, found dead in between Versailles and uh, Paris. Apparently, he stabbed himself 40 times. So, it's suicide, but stabbing 40 times. I don't know if you if one can hear that in his music, but apparently he was completely crazy. Well, genius and craziness often are not so far away. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, the, the amazing thing when you see, I mean, when you, you can compare this with the kind of the amazing architecture in, in, in France, how beautifully printed it is. I mean, this is now a photocopy, but it's a photocopy of the original. And you can perfectly Oh, it looks it. almost like modern contemporary. Yeah, exactly. And it's just how beautifully engraved uh, I music see. was at that time in France. And do you think the goal was to impress the king with the music, as in, look how complicated it is and how technical and how good our musicians are? Maybe the king or the other violin players, <laughs> the other musicians as well, like, look, what can I do? What I can do. And from Italy came the style of music where the music told a story, an imaginary story, without words. And this was completely new to French audiences. I and I think the king was kind of interested in that. Yeah. But he didn't want to admit it. Uh, so he had like in private salons, he, they, they played Italian music for him, but officially it was forbidden. 
because the violin was the virtuosic instrument that came from Italy and in France and also in England it was considered only like for like a pub or like beer fiddlers um, they played the violin like very rudimentary somehow um, yeah kind of traditional dance music um, and the violin was considered too loud too harsh um, and so it had to like the French people and also in England it was actually at the same time the same development they had to get used to that sound English people, they would just play like that range and the Italian they, they would go up and which was something completely unheard of in this uh, I see. In, in France Can you show me the instrument because you so my, it's an incredible So we are playing on, on original violins from the time um, which are built back to the original setup because violins have, have been changed in the 19th century to adapt to like big orchestra, bigger halls to, to be louder. Nowadays we build them back, yeah. as, a bit as you're doing with the chateau here. Uh, we're kind of carefully restoring them back to the original state. Um, so we're using gut strings, it's sheep gut. Yeah. It has a bit less tension than modern metal strings, yeah. so we don't need uh, all that stuff inside that you need to support the tension somehow. But what is it? What is it, the violin? Is it something you can tell on camera? So the, <laughs> <laughs> the violin is uh, Pietro Giacomo Rogeri from Brescia, so it's uh, northern Italy where all the famous violin makers yeah. were at the yeah. time. The date is 1713. 1713? Yeah. Wow, 300 years old. Yeah. I recently had the wood analyzed and so the top is spruce and the spruce is exactly the same tree as uh, Stradivari's um, famous messiah. Right? So, so this... Which is, which is actually the only Stradivarius that is in completely original condition, nobody ever plays it. And this instrument has made uh, of the, the same, same tree. tree. Yeah. That's incredible. Exactly. It must have been a very good tree. Wow. <laughs> and, and the price? Is it something you can talk about? Uh, the price, uh, no, I mean, price changes. Uh, it's, I think you can buy a nice apartment with it. <laughs> and yours? What are you playing on? Well, that's a copy of an uh, Italian instrument, Kappa. Yeah. The copy was made in the 90s okay. of the 20th century. It was beautiful. I love and the Fleur de Lis. Yeah, Fleur de Lis everywhere. The sound fits really well with Johannes Violin. Okay. But it's really different instrument somehow, even the value. Yeah. Well, I don't bother you anymore because you need to get, you need to practice, which to me sounds like a concert already. But <laughs> <laughs> you call it oh, practicing. Some things to <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. See you later. You can imagine how much organizing goes into an event like this. And despite having a fantastic team with Charlie and Esmeralda helping us, I do think I deserve a break after this. And to some extent, Anna as well. Well, she's my wife. We can go on holidays together, which also makes it cheaper. I spent some time looking for flights and I don't know if it happens to you as well, but each time you go back to a flight that you checked out previously, the price has increased. Which means that they know that you want this flight and when you come back they know that you probably are willing to pay more for it, which is naughty and annoying. But luckily there's a way to avoid this. It's an app called Surfshark. It helps you protect your personal information online and happens to be this week's ad. Surfshark works on your device, whether it's a phone, a tablet or a computer. You install it with a couple of clicks and then you virtually change your device's location, which virtually, for all the web pages out there, turns you into a different person, living somewhere else. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually turn you into a different person. That, I'm afraid, needs a bit more than an app. But now that you got your ticket for a fair price, you can access any web page, even in restrictive countries with censorship. It protects you when you use online banking during your trip, even on public Wi-Fi, because it encrypts your data, which also means that your boarding passes, COVID passes, smart IDs are stored safely on your phone or laptop. So if you travel and if you care about online privacy and safety, check out Surfshark's VPN service. Click the link below and get 83% off and an extra three months free by using our promo code SHUTTER. How is it, Anna, to make cake for 150 people in a temporary kitchen? It's not ideal. <laughs> Luckily, Esme and Charlie have been helping, so they've made half of the cakes and I'm making a few extra. It it's really pretty. Beautiful. It looks like we're having a wedding. Yeah. Do you want to see the church? Yeah, I can't wait. Do you want to come with me? Yeah, let's go. Hello.
St. Martin's Church is the gem of our village. It has stood here for over 800 years, weathered through centuries and countless wars. It has seen our chateau burning down and being rebuilt several times. The original simple Roman architecture was adapted for bigger windows. The roof has been reshaped and a porch has been added over the door. But now, after all those centuries, it doesn't look so good. Crumbling masonry, trees growing out of the facade, water leaks, a broken heating and loose stained glass windows are a real threat to its future. The church needs repair. The cost to fix the most urgent problems are estimated to be about 85,000 euros. We contribute to the restoration and we hope that many people come to the event to raise some more. J'aime bien la station à pâtisserie ici, c'est formidable. <rire> c'est vraiment le coin préféré de Philippe. Oui. Et s'il en reste Mais s'il en reste, c'est pour toi, Philippe. Bien évidemment. Est-ce que tu as besoin de, de quelqu'un qui les teste pour savoir si sont... Tu veux être un, un testeur ah, <rire> Oui, merci. Mais non. Tu as un trou de ça Ou de. <rire> Verdict. We hired Nathan for the occasion because we need all the help you can get and look at him. Look at this. Handsome young man, nicely dressed. C'est quand même mieux euh, qu'en qu pantalon de gymnastique. Ouais, je préfère. Très bien. Bah, super que tu sois là. Et tu sais qu'est-ce que tu vas faire Tu vas être le vigile. T'as pas quelqu'un de plus costaud Non, tu, 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 tu fais l'affaire. Tu sais, euh, les le méchants de Gonville sur en fleurs, hein, tu, ils sont. C'est moi. C'est toi, toi. T'as tout compris. Tu restes à l'entrée. Tu regardes quand même s'il y a des gens un peu louches. Tu te dis désolé, c'est sous réservation. Ouais, mais des gens louches, hein. je parle pas de des gens âgés comme qui... Benoît. Non, comme euh... tous tes amis... Ok <rire> Mais s'il y a écrit Adidas sur un pantalon, euh, ça passera pas. Hein. Ça part. Ah là là là, les deux. Christine et Benoît. 
C'est vous qui jouez les violons C'est vous l'artiste On a une station sucrée, une station salée. Et tu prépares ça peut-être genre pour 9h15 ça va pas terminer avant. Sinon, ça, dans, au soleil, ça va pas bien, bien vieillir. Et Max, est-ce que tu peux filmer peut-être un petit peu Ok. Ouais. Dans l'église. Benoît, Christine, vous pouvez nous aider à, à servir les verres et boire des verres. Après, bon, tout va se mettre en place. Je pense que les gens, ils vont. T'as vu la décoration Ça te plaît Oui. Très bien. Très bien. I'm getting a bit nervous. I just heard from the mairie, from the town hall, that we have 120 people who send a message that they will come. But not everybody knows that you have to reserve. So there's probably 150 people, which is fine. The church is big enough, and I think we can handle it here at Le Fleur. However, I have to do a speech in front of 150 people. And the last time I did a speech in front of a lot of people was my marriage. And I decided never to marry again because I didn't want to have to do another speech like that. Anyway, we'll be good. We'll be good, we'll be fine. Oh my gosh. The concert was incredibly beautiful and we can't thank enough Johannes and Roldan for this magical moment which will stay forever in our memory and hopefully also in the memory of our friends and neighbors. After the concert though, we were so excited and busy giving 150 visitors a tour of the chateau that we completely forgot to film until the very end when people already started leaving. Johannes just said, I can try his violin. Isn't it amazing? I don't think this is a good idea, Philip. Why not? Do you actually know how to play a violin? I played violin as a child for a couple of months. So that was a very long time ago, like over 40 years ago. Yeah, but I think I'm natural. I'm a natural. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait and see, wait and see. Philip, it's so expensive. Yeah, I'm not gonna break uh, it, I'm not gonna break it. Johannes, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm totally fine with it. Oh, oh my God. Do you, do you know how to hold it actually? <laughs> yes, I think so. This is my once in a lifetime chance to hold a violin that's probably as expensive as this chateau, so I better don't break it. Philip. Are you sure I, I can do it? Go ahead. Oh my god. Do you know it's, light. it's very light, it's very light. Philip, <laughs> careful. Look at that one, I'm, I'm shaky. <laughs> Looks quite good, wow. 
Look at me, Philip, because I can't see. I can't see your face. Yeah. Am I going to this side? Perfect position, perfect bow hold. Like, are you sure you did only have one year of violin? Um, maybe it was a bit longer, but it was so bad that it, I stopped. It's really good. I really mean, there's some material I could work with, yeah. <laughs> oh my, my god, maybe I found a new, a new <laughs> hobby. Oh, Philip, what was that piece called? I'm a kind of Entchen. Alle meine Entchen. Alle meine Entchen. This is kind of an insult to that instrument, <laughs> probably. I, I hope it doesn't... Very good. I think it's very happy to... It's very happy to have some. Yeah. I think it's never had that played on it ever before in its <laughs> I, life. In its 200, 300 year life, it's never it's, had... It's definitely like... Meine keine Entchen played happened? on it. What just happened? <laughs> this poor... Wow. It's my... Tool for my yes. job, yes. but also it's kind of a work of art and kind of heritage, yes. <laughs> in a way of, yes. of of the world of of of, of yes. humanity. Somehow. Yes. So I need to really take care of it and protect it. And especially now that uh, I I played on it, I think it just yeah, I, I think it needs value. to go back to the shop. <laughs> If you'd like to help save our village church, please check out the description under our video. There's a link to the French Heritage Society which raises funds for this important project. Every small donation can make a difference. Thank you so much.